Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a new box to the channel to share with you. It is called Beauty and a Book Box. So obviously kind of combining a couple of categories there. It came in this nice hefty, hot pink box and they used to be a monthly subscription but they have since switched to quarterly and they kept selling out so I had been watching them for a while but I've only been able to get in on this September box but I think I subscribed like way back in May so their next box it won't be until December but I did just get a notification today that for the December box nobody gets to pick their book usually in the past you've been able to select between a couple of different novels which was the case with this September box but I just kind of like the idea of being able to choose between a couple of different options so we're just gonna see how we feel about this one and if we want to go with the surprise me um, non option for December or if maybe I'll just skip it until it's available for the next quarter this is $37.99 per quarter plus nine dollars in shipping I know that shipping seems a little bit high but shipping costs have definitely gone up for subscription box companies and like I said this is a very hefty box it's packed full of all kinds of of goodies so we'll just have to see what we think uh, you guys can help me decide so obviously we're going to get a book and then some different beauty products and I do know that they have started doing like their own bedding line which honestly I'm not sure if that's really something that I want to receive in a book box but I have been having some issues with one of my favorite book subscriptions so I might have to uh, kind of open up the uh, rotation for some other book subscriptions like this one so let's see what we've got inside now the the first thing I am seeing is a little card. Of course, they're telling us how to find them over on social media. It looks like they've got a photo contest going. I always post product photos. Sometimes I post photos of me actually using the products. So definitely check out my account on Instagram if you haven't already. And then on the other side, it just tells us all of the items that are in the Beauty and a Book box, which is kind of cool. It looks like in addition to the book, we've got five different items. It doesn't say the individual retail values, but it does say that the total overall retail value is $85 or over $85 so you're definitely getting your money's worth about twice as much a little over twice as much um, so we'll just have to see what we think it does say you are the first to experience our beauty and a book bedding so we'll have to see what item that is and I think it's just because like some of the stuff that I've seen already is very like book centric or kind of like very girly and not necessarily something that I want to put in in our bedroom and I'm um, not necessarily something I want to put in our guest bedroom either but we'll see um, so the first thing I see is kind of this like pink mailer which is pretty cute so let me just get some scissors so that I can open this up it's like soft so I'm guessing that this is probably the bedding item so let me just, I guess I'll just toss that to the ground. So it is, and this is the item that I saw before. Um, it is branded Beauty and a Book. So you can see there's a little tag here and they're just some pillow cases um, and just white. The, the material, the fabric feels really nice. Let me see if I can turn them right side up. But each pillowcase just has some eyelashes, very like detailed, kind of like spidery though. Like I don't know that I would necessarily want these on my bed, even if it was just my my bedroom alone definitely not something I think like my husband would be super into but they could look really cute right your two pillows together with the with the nice long eyelashes like I said the material is great you could definitely put them in the rotation they might work well not necessarily sitting out uh, if you don't want to but like the quality of them seems nice enough this might be something though that I regift to like a friend who doesn't necessarily have a husband that doesn't want uh, long eyelashes on his pillow cases so it looks like I'm not actually seeing that in their like list of items so maybe this is just an extra to kind of introduce us to that line so that you can order those items individually so let's see so mantra makeup collection we just got like a little card from them so I'm guessing we must have something from them um, the next thing I am seeing though is by Love London. It is a natural body scrub. So it just comes in this simple little, little bag. So interesting because it's just, it looks like sugar. 
um, and I've never had like a body scrub where it comes like in a bag like this I guess you can open this up so it like sits in your shower on the shelf somewhere I don't use a lot of body scrubs especially when they don't have like a lot of like liquid in them just because I feel like they crumble and most of it just goes down the drain without me actually like getting to scrub a lot but I know a lot of people like love body scrubs so this is definitely something that I might pass on to one of my uh, body scrub loving friends or viewers like I said I will be having some giveaways coming up here very very soon so it says that this is a citrus body scrub on the little card because it doesn't actually say any like details here um, in terms of ingredients or anything on on the packaging which is a little concerning like you definitely want to like know all of the ingredients I guess I could probably look it up I do like the fact that it is citrus scented then we've got a little notebook that just is in like craft brown paper that says believe in yourself with the little sun so that's cute these are always great to just have in your purse even though I tend to do a lot of my note taking on my phone these days it's just kind of like a wider rule which is great but I do like that these are always like handy to have let's see what it says about this it just says motivational mini notebook for lists and jotting so yep good for lists I usually like spiral notebooks for like stuff that I'm going to hold on to for a while all right, so here we finally have uh, a makeup item by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So here it is, nice and shiny. Sorry about that reflection, you guys. So this is, let's see, uh, it, this is probably just the staff picked beauty product. It's a unique item per box So you have to watch a bunch of different uh, Unboxings to see all the different things that people got so I'm guessing this is like blush Let me see on the back. It says yes, it's a blush trio It is the pool party blush trio and the colors are blank pageant and kosh so let me see if I can just cover up the mirror that's on the inside. So the really pretty colors, I might actually probably use them more as eyeshadows than blush because as some of you know, I don't wear a ton of makeup um, and I don't wear any blush because I just have kind of naturally rosy cheeks, but I know this is a good brand. Or again, as always, it could be a good item to pass on to one of you guys. So let me just seal that back up. I'm surprised it didn't come in an outer box as well because I feel like usually these these little palettes do come in a box as well but they did have it wrapped up in some bubble wrap so um, we didn't have any breakage which is nice now here is the book that we selected or I selected which is a very hefty and that is the cause of the weight of the box and this is called Midnight Sun and it is by Stephanie Meyer who of course is the author of the Twilight Saga so I did read all of the Twilight series back in the day my aunt was like obsessed with it and so that was my Christmas present one year and I did find myself going through those novels pretty quickly like I was kind of surprised because that's not like fantasy isn't really like the genre that I tend to gravitate towards but I did really enjoy all of those books um, I did not enjoy all of the movies even though I have a dear friend who forced me to sit through all of them like in pretty much one go um, but that's just because I'm not like a huge fan of some of the actors in that movie uh, it looks like we've got one more beauty product and this is the, the item by mantra makeup which we had the card from came in a little organza bag and then it looks like it is a lip gloss this is actually a color I think I would use I don't wear a lot of lip gloss especially not these days when we always have to be taking our masks on and off and you don't want to have your mask sticking to your lips I'm tending to use a lot more uh, lip stains or matte lip colors uh, just because the gloss can get a little bit sticky and I've always had problems with gloss like sticking and my hair getting stuck in it as well so let me just go over everything oh we got one more thing that was like hiding in the corner and you'll see how it was hiding in the corner so we've got these fun bookends which these are actually really cute they're just simple metal and you just stand them up this way and it just says book and there's two of them book so you can put them at either end I actually really like that um, I have like a bunch of magazines and I have these like nice magazine holders that I got from Ikea years ago but now they're kind of overflowing and there's just some magazines I like to hold on to so I might actually use these to like kind of keep all of my magazines together on the top of my desk but I do really like these because they're simple like really clean lines so this is actually probably aside from the novel that I picked out probably my favorite item in all honesty so let's just go over all of the things that we got in this nice hefty 
beauty and a book box book and beauty box beauty in a book box i almost forgot there's too many bees going on so we got this really hefty we got it's like a picture of a pomegranate but of course it kind of looks like a heart uh midnight sun by stephanie meyer so let me see if i can just read the blurb for you so it seems like it's actually part of the twilight saga I'm guessing that it is, but I didn't read the fifth one, so I'm going to have to probably read that one before I get to this one. It says, I can't sleep, I murmured, answering her question more fully. She was silent for a moment. At all, she asked. Never, I breathed. As I met her penetrating gaze, read the surprise and the sympathy there, I abruptly yearned for sleep, not for oblivion as I had before, not to escape boredom, but because I wanted to dream. Maybe if I could be unconscious, if I could dream, if I could live for a few hours in a world where she and I could be together. She dreamed of me, I wanted to dream of her. She stared back at me, her expression full of wonder. I had to look away. I could not dream of her. She should not dream of me. So dramatic. I have to like kind of get my brain back into that world. So yes, it is definitely a continuation of, of Edward and Bella. So I'll have to get that book that's in between after the initial four before I dive into this guy. Um, but it looks interesting. Hopefully it'll be like an easy read. That was like kind of the nice thing, even though all of those books were so hefty. They were quick, quick reads. So we got the um, novel. We got the bookends, which I like a lot. We got the little notebook. We got the body scrub in citrus. We got the lip gloss and then the staff picked beauty item, which for us was the Anastasia blush trio. Let me know what you guys thought about this. I think it's kind of fun to have some beauty items along with a book. I do like the option of getting to choose between a couple of different books, so it's not just a total surprise. Um, so like I said, I might skip the December one, but I'm always looking for fun book boxes that don't just send you a book and have like a book club with discussion, but also send you some fun like lifestyle items. So if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know in the comments below. If you appreciate uh, videos like this where I'm introducing some new boxes to the channel, please do give this one a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.